here we are. So we have a corner unit. It first impressions, it's light, it's airy, it's modern. I definitely say it's probably in better date than the Holiday Inn um, at Orange Lake. If anyone's ever st stayed there, this is definitely, uh, it just feels a little bit more modern, a little bit more updated. So a nice big open kitchen here. And then we're gonna, let's have a look at the freezer. Ice machine, big fridge. You've got all your utensils in here that you possibly could need. There's your tumblers, your microwave, your full oven, hob rings with four hobs, all of the cutlery you could possibly need. You've got a blender, coffee maker, you've got your sink with your disposal, garbage disposal, a nice big um, dishwasher. Let's have a look. They, they leave you a little welcome pack too, uh, with kitchen towels, dishwasher tablets. Then we have your washer dryer, like a little laundry room with an iron and ironing board, some little shelves here. This is like a neat little room. Um, good size too, I mean, it's a little bit old school. Big old clunky buttons, but you know what? It's top loading. It's not as big as the one we have at home, but that's perfect for a holiday. It's perfect, got a little washing basket up here. They leave you with two laundry detergents as well. Justin's just come back. What's in that one? Ooh. Oh, it's oh. ah, so it's a connecting door. Yeah. Okay, so this is a one bedroom villa, um, but I guess with the connecting door, I'm not sure about what's next door, if it's a one, two, but these come in either one bedroom configuration or two bed. I'm not sure about the three. I'll find out, but they definitely come in one bed and two bed configurations. So you've got this nice little dining table here, the bar stores, you know, modern, modern fixtures. You've got your lounge area here. Now this is the sofa bed. So this is where the little one's gonna sleep tonight, um, which is a good, you know, good size. It's like a double sofa bed. You've got your TV. You've got a DVD player here. And um, what's this? Oh, a Bose music system, which is pretty cool. What's in here? Oh, just drawers. Okay, so storage. They've got, they've got the menu here too. So there's QR codes everywhere where you can scan and check the menus out. So, so far, really happy with the size of room. And if you're coming to Florida for a week or two weeks, this is, a, this is great. This is a great big size. So let's go into the bedroom so this said this is a one bedroom this is a one bedroom villa so you've got your nice modern lg tv what i really love is this little chair here because it leads out to the balcony which i'm going to show you in a minute which is screened in so if you've got little kids it's brilliant because you're not worried about them grabbing a chair and leaning over the top um of the balcony which is always my fear whenever i go anywhere of a balcony so i don't have to worry about that nice big king bed Looks pretty soft too. Yeah, it does look pretty soft. Then we've got this great, this is a well, whirlpool tub. So, you know, it looks, a, it feels a little bit dated with the, uh, with the terracotta tiling, but, and the wooden um, unit, but do you know what? It's, it's, it's a really good nick. It's really, it's clean. You know, I always, I'm a little bit of a stickler. I've always got to look at, at things and there's no green around here. It's been really thoroughly clean. There's no hairs anywhere. You've got this nice artwork here of the stalk. And I'll show you reason why I've got that lake there in a minute. So then you've got your storage here. So you've got a nice big double wardrobe with a built-in safe for all your passports, your keys and everything else. Extra blankets, it looks like, and pillows. Then you have your vanity here, which is nice and big. All your towels, 
Oh, wow. And then this leads to a second bathroom. So you have a door here. So you have a door there, but then it leads like, it's like almost like a, it's a double Jack and Jill. Wow. So then this leads to a separate bathroom. So you've got the commode, as the Americans like to call it. And what's, what are they stuck here? Oh, right, okay. Gilchrist and Sons. Yeah, nice, nice, nice stuff, nice amenities. All body lotion, hand wash for you to help yourself. So this is basically Eden's. And you've got a shower here. So this is a little bit dated. This has definitely seen better days, this shower. But you know what? There's a little bit of light coming in here. It's fine. You know, it's clean. It looks like it's a powerful shower. That's all I care about, it being clean. Yeah, that's, that is spotlessly clean, so I, I can't mind about that. And then it, and then the strange setup, because then it leads into this other room with just a sink, which I find is a bit weird. Is there a commode in here too? No, so it's just, listen, maybe it's me, but anyone else find that a little bit, a little bit weird? you've got just a random sink in here with no toilet yeah that is a bit strange and then and then oh in here you've got the toilet but yeah i just find that a bit strange it's like maybe they were initially going to make this into a two-bed condo but maybe you thought the second bedroom would be too small or something i'm not quite sure it seems a bit of a dead space that area but yeah really really happy with this now, the reason why we've always stayed at the Holiday Inn, Orange Lake, was because we always found, we always looked at this property, always came in slightly cheaper than Orange Lake, but we always found that Orange Lake gave us a two-bed property and not a one-bedroom. So, an initial, you know, initial look at it, you'd think, oh, wow, you know, this the Sheraton's coming in cheaper, but then when you actually look at it, it's because it's for the price of a one-bedroom villa. And with Holiday Inn, especially if you book through BA or Virgin, it's typically always a two bedroom villa, you know, for the same price. So for us, you know, we always went with the Holiday Inn because we had that extra bedroom. But, you know, right now we're just, you know, obviously we're living here now. It's a little bit different. We're not here for two weeks. We're here for a couple of nights. But still, you know, if you've got, if you've got a kid or two kids, I mean, I still think this would be, this would be ample for you, you know, especially if you're going out every day at the theme parks, etc. And they've got this lovely outside area here with four tables and chairs. And like I said, this is screen, which is great. You've got a fan here too, because as you know, even if in Florida, if you sit in the shade, it could be really hot. Um, you don't have to worry about the mosquitoes. And you've got this beautiful lake. And you've got the sound, which is really relaxing, of the water fountain. And I'm just having a look here. It's almost like you can't really see it through the screen, but there's a, there's a walkway here. But I can hear things going on in the background. So I'm thinking the pools around here I can, I can hear some entertainment going on and then I don't know if you can see this through the screen but scattered around the parks there's all these little barbecues which are awesome that are dotted all, all around the gas I believe I think they're yeah they've got to be gas yeah I can see the gas main so the gas barbecues located around the lake so all in all I'm pretty impressed with this I must admit so I understand now some of you put comments like we always love Sheraton Vistana um and now i get why i totally get it and i feel like we've missed out a little bit and then this door then leads to the master so like it's great you can wake up in the morning come outside sit down listen to the birds and listen to the, the water fountain while having your morning coffee what a perfect place um to come so yeah definitely thumbs up so far on first impressions so you've got this little um what do they call this Convenience pack, I think. Condiments pack, I don't know what they call it. So there's Joe on the go. Decaf, pack of decaf. Two packs of decaf. Two packs of regular coffee. So this is the type of coffee, it comes already in the filter. So you just open it up and then you just stick it on the top of the pot. Um, you got some salt, some pepper, and then they've got some tea as well. So obviously you get a lot of Brits staying here. Earl Grey, Earl Grey. Wild, sweet orange. No breakfast tea, mind you. And then you've got your packet of sweeteners and most likely I'm just seeing creamers too. Uh, the one thing I always miss is they don't ever offer um, fresh milk, you know, a little, or even just a UHT milk. They don't do here. It's always the powdered milk. But 
still nice little touch and they bring you these alcohol wipes too. Now I know that Marriott and Sher Marriott, obviously Sherrod's in a part of Marriott group, so they have their own protocols with the cleaning. Um, you can find it all on their website and stuff, but it's nice to see that, you know, it does look very, it feels very clean, looks very clean. So yeah, we're happy. Okay, so one of the cool things about staying at somewhere like a Sheraton, a Sheraton Vistana um, is that it is timeshare properties. So, you know, people can actually buy condos and rent them out through the year, etc. I'm not, I'm not familiar with all the ins and outs, but that is something you can do. So with that, when you do stay here, you get all these like additional benefits because they want to make it a vacation destination. So for instance, you have this daily activity schedule. So tomorrow we've got Aqua Fitness at 11 a.m. There is a poolside DJ at 12 o'clock. There's rock painting, um, which looks like there is a charge. It doesn't actually say how much it is, but there's rock painting. There's water slides, races. If there is a charge, it, it shows in with the dollar. Got bingo, they've got basketball, they've got Disney trivia, they've got a pool party in the evening. Um, they've, got, they've got all sorts um so that's like one of the good cookie decorating fish feeding by the bridge so it obviously must be fish in that pond obviously um but yeah that's a really good thing that comes with this type of and staying on one of these types of resort is that you've got all these things going on throughout the day the next thing we notice obviously you get your resort map and because we've come at easter weekend they've put on all these activities and from what i can see none of these are an extra charge um, so tomorrow there is a Easter egg hunt for the kiddies, um, a special visit from the Easter bunny. Uh, be sure to arrive on time as eggs go quick. So we'll make sure we'll, we'll join in that one tomorrow. Then they have a pool party and then they have a bunny bingo. Play for your chance to win a chocolate bunny. So these are just kind of, kind of some of the perks. And also it's part of the holiday experience, you know, when you have these things going on, especially if you have, you know, teenagers or younger kids. So it's a definite thumbs up for us in terms of uh, activity and, and the selection of activities. As you can see behind me, the heavens are about to open up. Um, they've just sounded a really long siren, um, which basically tells everybody to get out of the pool, which is a shame because we just thought, oh, we're going to have a little walk around the resort now and take it in. But hey ho, um, we're going to have a, we're going to try and get a little play in the playground before uh, it starts to rain. playground so this is this is where the pirate ship and the slides are so we're gonna have a little look inside here so we're heading towards a marketplace which also serves where's stuff the where's the shop this where's way where? this where? way this way what? wow this is cool so this is look okay so it looks a lot bigger on the photos in the brochure I'll be honest but still, that is pretty neat little water feature. There's a water slide there too. And we're heading over to Marketplace. You can 
business center there. You've got some outside seating, and the pool area right here. So this is marketplace. So this is where you come, if you've ever stayed at a Marriott or um, a Sheraton um, vacation club, you'll, you'll be familiar with this. You can get, you know, like ice creams here and here, candy, souvenirs, uh, they brew Starbucks coffee. They've also got, you know, trinkets and armbands and everything you could possibly need. Sun cream, painkillers, so it's like a little convenience shop. You know, it, it is quite expensive, I will say that, but at the end of the day, it's, it's here on your doorstep. Sort of got this grab, you've got your milk there as well, your eggs. Then you've got your frozen food too, so if you've forgotten anything here, you've got ice creams, meatloaf, macaroni and cheese, pizzas, and you've also got alcohol. What a bonus! And then you have this also grab and go option. Cinderella, press the button. What happens? <gasps> Whoa! It's kind of neat. They have a feel little library where you can put in a, a book, I guess, that you finish reading, and then people can just take it, read it, and put it back. It's pretty neat. Haven't yet opened the pool, though the sun is now starting to come out. I did see the lifeguards sitting around, so I guess they're just waiting for a. Uh, the all, the all clear to uh, open up the gates and let people back in. Right, so if you're staying at the Vistana in a one bedroom apartment or villa, as they call it here, um, nice artwork, <laughs> just realized. It's actually really nice artwork. Um, it's really simple to use a sofa bed. Um, they said two or more people required, but I promise you, you don't need two. It even has the steps here, step one and step two. Step one, I mean, look, step one lift here. I mean, you can't really go wrong. So make sure you've taken off all of the, the cushions and you're going to pull. Oh, wow, it's pretty, it's stiff. But once it gets going, once it's got some momentum. Oh, hello. See, I'm doing it with one hand, so it's not that bad. Pull it down. There we go. And then basically, this is a double. So you're going to pull this. Oh, hang on. Do not lift until step one is complete. Step two, lift front leg bar and lower bed to floor. Okay. <laughs> no leg bars there, right? That's the leg bar, that's down. Right, that's down. So you just gotta do not lift until step one is complete. Oh, there we go. Door. Here we go. So if you're a single mum or a single dad, you can do that. Um, quite easily. That's your bed, quite easily. And there's still, you know, still a lot of space in here, as you can see. Obviously, you'd want to fold it down after every night. Um, let's check out the the bed. I mean, it's not a little stain on that, but I've seen them in a lot worse state. Um, it's only for a little one, you know. Maybe if you had two teenagers on here I'm maybe not as comfortable I'll be honest um but it's okay it's basic um so now we're just going to basically make the bed up grab the sheets from the closet and uh yeah get ready for bed so here's all the sheets this was found in the master bedroom closet and I like the fact that it's looks clean tidy and it's all zipped up as well good morning from the Sheraton Vistana so it is so nice to be able to have your coffee and just sit out here. The water fountain turns on around half past seven in the morning. So it's really nice and quiet. Um, it wasn't too loud last night. We, we was in, we were asleep by 10. Um, a few doors slamming, a few kids jumping on beds, but this has got more, it's a smaller resort. Um, it's got more of a holiday vibe to it. 
um, I feel than the Holiday Inn because the Holiday Inn at Orange Lake is massive, it's huge. I mean, it takes you 20 minutes to drive from one side to the other. But this is a lot more smaller and intimate, but it definitely has that holiday feel like people are still in the pool, you know, at half past nine at night, um, which is really nice. Um, Check-in experience was fine, it was pretty quick. I think I waited maybe 10 minutes to be seen and then like five minutes to be checked in. Um, they always refer you to the um, concierge to pick up your parking pass, but don't be don't be duped. This is basically kind of a, a chance for you to get um, enrolled onto the timeshare program, which is like a presentation. Um, you get like, I think it was like a $200 credit, but you know, if you're willing to sacrifice two hours of a hard sell of your time, in my opinion, don't do it. It's not worth a $200 credit. Um, my vacation time is more uh, important than the $200 credit, but that's that's up to you to decide if you want to do that presentation or not. Um, so I just turned it down, took the parking pass, which you don't need, and, uh, and walked away. Um, there are um, only two options to dine here. So I've noticed that the majority of people do bring their own food. I mean, you've got a full kitchen and if you're out, it depends, you know, if you're coming here to go out at the parks all day, you're hardly gonna be in your room. So you might not use the dining facilities here, but all they have here is the breeze bar, um, which isn't very big. I mean, it was raining yesterday, so everyone had the same idea as, as us, is to go and eat um, early, um, because it was literally hammering it down. And there was only about six, seven tables inside and the rest was outside. Although it was covered, you were still getting sprayed. Um, the, menus are, the menu's great, I mean, the menu's fine. Um, if I was here for two weeks, it'd probably get quite repetitive because the only other option you have is the pool bar, which serves a bit more of a limited menu. Um, now, I haven't been to the pool bar yet, so I don't know if actually if it's covered or not. So I'll go and check that one out today because we're gonna do a pool day today. Um, but if you just see behind me, the sun's just started to come out. So yeah, I mean, this is this, this place is perfect if you're visiting Universal and iDrive. Like I said, you've got your cooking facilities. So if you if you don't want to be, you know, spending $100, $150 a day on food, this is a great place to come. It's a lot smaller, it's a lot more intimate. It's got a lot of activities for the kids during the day. So yeah, everyone has a different agenda when they come on holiday. Um, but this is perfect if you're gonna be spending lots of time out at the theme parks. Um, you're a bit more budget conscious, you'll be spending, you know, like I said, lots of money on food and beverages. Um, this is a brilliant option for you. And in fact, you've got this outside space here too. It's just an added bonus. So uh, today's a pool day. There's, there's two or three pools, I believe. I think there's two, we saw two yesterday. And they've got an Easter egg hunt at half past 10 today as well. So we'll be doing that. But yeah, definitely a thumbs up for us. Slept really good, the beds are really comfortable, lots of storage space. Cannot fault the accommodation at all. It's all quite modern, it's all quite fresh. It's not, I wouldn't say it's dated at all. This is quite, this is good, this is good quality. Um, so anyone's got any questions, just pop them in the comments below. So this pool with the pirate ship is called the St. Augustine pool. Pirate Eden! So on this side you've got the marketplace where there's the Starbucks coffee and then you've got the kids pirate ship right here. The water's really warm too, they must heat it because this water feels like it feels like bath water, which is great for the little kids. I mean it's I don't know, quarter, I, don't know, I think it's quarter to eight, something like that. Coming up to eight and he's straight in there. So brilliant if you've got little ones. here opens at 9 a.m. according to the lifeguard and they do actually have a lifeguard sitting up there as well um, <coughs> watching the kids go down which is good this is the Pirates Cove bar so I'm not sure what time this opens oh 12 12 till 6 this is it right there so if you want breakfast the best place is the marketplace 
which is sort of your grab and go breakfast, Starbucks coffee, and the breeze bar. They're your two options if you want to have breakfast on the site. Right, it looks like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. Like I said, the water's heated. And there's like no one around here at the moment, which is great. We've got the place to ourselves. The thing I wanted to mention is that the changing rooms right by the pool area, they're not just toilets, they also have shower facilities and a big um, and a big toilet for disabled access too. So and they've also got lockers in there too. So they've really thought about it, which is which is really good. So this pool was called the Bella Pool. There are three pools in total at the Sheraton of Vistana. Towel machine, this is where you return them. A towel tracker. Place your key card on the reader. Oh no, there's the reader. There, oh, it goes green. Okay, open the door for your towels. Okay, let's try again. Goes green. There we go. And then you take a couple of towels. <clears throat> I guess you can take as many towels as you want. There's no, I mean, they say one per person, but there's no way of tracking that. And then the door shuts, it locks. Job done. So good morning and happy Easter to everybody. Um, as some of you know, we're at the, staying at the Sheraton Vistana villages along I Drive. And it is Easter Sunday. It is a glorious day. And uh, they are putting on a Easter egg hunt for the kids at half past 10. Apparently the Easter bunny will be making an appearance too. Um, so I'm gonna give you a sneak peek and uh, yeah, join, join in on the fun. in 10 minutes. I can feel the excitement building already. I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> He's been practicing his egg picking up skills. So we're just waiting for him to open up the gate. We had a really enjoyable weekend at the Sheraton Vistana Villages Resort along iDrive. I would highly recommend this resort if you have young kids or teenagers because there's just so much to do. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more updates and thanks for watching.